According to research out there, there has been a worldwide increase in the incidence of something called interstitial lung disease. That's kind of an umbrella term used for a large group of conditions that leads to a scarring in your lungs. In our HealthCast today, we're taking a closer look at some of those warning signs and the long-term impacts. For most of his life, Gilbert Machado enjoyed good health until about three years ago when he started to cough. And the cough would then turn into cough fits. It had gotten to the point where I was drinking Robitussin like it was water. I would say I was, I was probably, uh, I'm gonna say two bottles a week. It was that bad. I was coughing night and day. Gilbert was ultimately diagnosed with something called interstitial lung disease, or ILD. So interstitial lung disease is a combination of diseases that uh, the end result is going to be the same, which is uh, it progressively start destroying the lung. The most common symptom is shortness of breath, which is often accompanied by a dry cough, chest discomfort, fatigue, and occasionally weight loss. But by the time symptoms appear, the damage is already done. So even though we have medications that might uh, slow down the progression, we don't really have medications out there that can really change the natural history of the, of the disease. Dr. Pillay says once the damage has been done, the only treatment for ILD is a double lung transplant, but not everyone will qualify for that procedure. That's why it's very important to have an early referral and evaluation by a transplant program because while the natural history might take several years, once it takes place and once the person is on oxygen, there is no much, no much time left for that person to, to really be considered for transplant. Gilbert underwent that operation last fall and is making his way back now to the life he loves. I'm not as physical as I used to be, but I will be. There's no doubt in my mind. All right, and anyone, including kids, can actually get this ILD. Many things increase your risks, including genetics or certain medications or medical treatments, things like chemotherapy or radiation, exposure to hazardous materials, autoimmune diseases, and most importantly, smoking.